this is our show that we are building from scratch in our shop and, and we've put all of our love and blood, sweat and tears into it. The opera production house has eight days to finish stitching together the costumes for Madame Butterfly. It's a lot to do. It's the final act of their year-long effort. So there's been an amazing amount of work to make these traditional and accurate that I have never seen on this kind of a production before at all. This is new. The old costumes were 25 years old when they bought them and are now falling apart. The opera company decided to make their own to give the audience a new experience. This way allows you to have exactly um, all the color choices, the specific designs, and then it blends really well together. The design team says there's no way you could just buy something like this. They had to make them, and each one took about 40 hours. The designers wanted vibrant colors, but they started with a blank canvas of white silk. Um, I add my dye solution, and now it's nice and hot, and I'm ready to add my fabric. So the kimono, we're just wanting to change it a different color. The artist then paints the designs on the 40 kimonos. So we've got the fall cherry blossoms falling off the tree, and then the colors sort of evoke sunset. It's like the sunset of her life. Um, so, but yeah, this one's our favorite. The costume designers say audiences don't usually have a clear idea of what to expect. But when the curtain rises in October, the creative team thinks the audience will be transported to a different world. It's cool when when all of the the symbolism and all the, the messages that you're trying to send with the costumes, when you can see it get through to the audience. Ashton Goodell. I'm excited to see it all on stage. Fox 13 News, Utah.